Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, we gather joyfully to celebrate this Eucharist on this Easter Sunday, a day in which our Lord Jesus conquered sin and death through his resurrection. We need to hear that wonderful Easter message of hope as we walk these days with the pandemic that has affected our lives in so many ways. And so we pray as we gather to celebrate this Eucharist that our risen Lord may walk with us and walk with each and every human person at this time and that we may always be filled with the Easter joy and Easter hope in our lives. And we take a moment to prepare ourselves for this celebration. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you conquered death through your resurrection. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to live as Easter people who are filled with your hope. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and, and on earth, people, people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter began to speak. You know the message that spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John announced, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, and how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did, both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him, that everyone who believes in him 
receives forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response for his song. Our response is, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, His steadfast love endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live, and recount the deeds of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on the earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. lying there, but he did not go in. 
Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there, and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture that he must rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Some of you may have heard the story about these two elderly men, Peter and John, who loved baseball. They were sitting on a bench in a park, feeding pigeons and talking about baseball, just like they did every day. Peter turned to John and asked, John, do you think there is baseball in heaven? John thought about it for a minute and replied, I don't know, Peter, but let's make a deal. If I die first, I will come back and tell you. And if you die first, you come back and tell me if there is baseball in heaven. They agreed on it. Sadly, a few months later, poor Peter passed on. A couple of days soon afterward, John was sitting on the bench and feeding the pigeons by himself when he heard a voice whisper, John, John. John responded, Peter, is that you? Yes, it is John, whispered the spirit of Peter. John, still amazed, asked, So, is there baseball in heaven? Well, Peter said, I got good news and I got a bad news. Give me the good news first, said John. Peter said, Well, there is baseball in heaven. John said, that's great. What news could be bad enough to ruin that? Peter sighed and whispered, you are pitching this Friday. Sisters and brothers, our human life is full of good and bad news. The very fact that we are able to take this time to celebrate this Easter Mass is a good news because many people around the world are not able to do so for many reasons. No doubt that the present pandemic has brought and continues to bring so much of bad news to our personal and family lives, to our communal and spiritual lives, and to our social and economic lives. The pandemic has altered nearly every facet of our lives, the way we work, 
learn, help, eat, socialize, and more. In the midst of these challenges, on this Easter Sunday, we gather together to celebrate and to herald the good news that our Lord is risen and He is in our midst, strengthening us, giving us hope, and teaching us to love God and love our sisters and brothers. Now, the years before Jesus was born, people's lives in Palestine was full of bad news, externally because of the oppressive Roman rule, and internally because of the exploitative rules imposed by their religious leaders. In their suffering, the people longed for some good news. They longed for someone to free them from their oppression. God heeded their longing and sent His Son Jesus to be the good news for them. But as much as the coming of Jesus gave hope and encouragement to so many people, it also created jealousy and contempt among the leaders of the society. And all these came to a head on at Good Friday when Jesus is arrested, crucified and buried in the tomb. It was a shocking news for people. And they thought that it was the end of the story. But it was not to be. God had other plans. It is then they hear the good news. He is not here. God has raised Jesus from death. It of course transformed the apostles and so many others from a group of terrified and hopeless people to people who boldly went forth and proclaimed the good news that because Jesus is risen, life is stronger than death. Love is stronger than hate. And God's peace is more powerful than any human fear. Sisters and brothers, in these days when we and our world are filled with so much of fear and uncertainty, the good news that is proclaimed to each of us today is that our God is with us. Our risen Lord walks with us each and every day of our lives. We believe in the sun even when it is not shining knowing that by and by it will shine again. Similarly, in our faith life, we are called to trust in God's infinite light and to know that God's light is stronger and will overcome the momentary darkness we face because of the pandemic. And this is the good news for us today. This is the good news that the church calls us to celebrate with great joy. And so, as we come to celebrate this great feast of Easter, let us pray to have a deep trust in our Lord and to know that God always walks with us, giving us courage and to give us strength to walk with faith and with hope. Amen. And on this uh, Easter day, we take a moment at this time to renew our baptismal promises. And after each of the questions, please respond with, I do. Do you remember?
renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I, I do. do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. And now we take a moment to offer with faith our prayers and petitions to our gracious God as we respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church, the people of God, that we may all continue with great confidence and joy to bring the good news of Christ's resurrection and the gift of salvation to all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the St. Kevin's Parish community, renewed in faith, hope, and service, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are struggling and carrying heavy burdens at this time, that our prayer touches them and fills them with the hope that they receive at Easter, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the healing of those who are ill and for those who lovingly care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died and for all who are grieving the loss of a loved one, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the special prayer intentions deep within our hearts this Easter, We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of life and love, hear these prayers that we bring to you on this Easter day and help us to deepen our faith in the risen Lord. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual food. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and good of all His holy church. Exultant with Paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, he has restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise and sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have the less worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and the people you have gathered. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face, and have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles, with Saint Kevin, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you set your apostles. Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And to your spirit. Let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that he should enter into my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia.